relatively short weeks if she's a good learner like this one. They're good learners too, students at London University, potty though it seems. They're almost ready for the off in their rag week pram race. Hold tight, baby, they're under starter's orders. Once a year, higher education is forgotten and chaos let loose in the streets. And you've just got to be charitable. Otherwise, you can keep out of King's Road, Chelsea and Sloan Square. Some, of course, prefer to tiddlywink their way up Kensington High Street in the rush hour. Nothing can curb their enthusiasm, even when the chance of victory has gone down the drain. Well, this seems to promise a bit more refinement, doesn't it? A recital of chamber music might help to bring some sanity to a situation where youth tries to prove itself adventurous by going up Regent Street the way rock climbers go up Everest. For anyone who's mad enough to think these boys are sane, they're giving quite an accurate demonstration of how mountaineers set about it. These boys reckon they know the ropes. Now they're really making progress. Go on at this rate and they'll soon reach Marlborough Street Magistrates Court. What's that, officer? You're thinking of arresting us for dangerous loitering? Seriously, officer, you'd be better employed on traffic duty back at Sloan Square. Rough nursemaids you get these days. A baby can't get a wink of sleep. Not a wink, not a tiddlywink. Looks like another challenger has been swept aside. Now, someone will pay for this. Absolute rubbish, thinking he can make a clean sweep of our hard-earned tiddlywinks. We're not having that. Why, some of our crack players, and crack is the right word for them, are still fishing for the one that went down the drain. But those are no tiddlers. Now let's get back and see how that piano recital's going. When do these students break up for the holidays? Presumably when they've finished this piano-breaking race. Smashing, isn't it? But who says students lack a sense of responsibility? They're using the zebra crossing as considerate pedestrians should. Look right, look left, then wink again. Victory at last, and so far, surprisingly, there hasn't been a single casualty, though the traffic's thick for the last lap of the pram race. It may all be for charity, but staying alive in this race also calls for big dollops of faith and hope. You can't even say that filming it's really child's play. 